We've already talked about Pink Batman, now it's time to talk about Zebra Batman. He would debut in Detective Comics issue 275 in 1960. This issue has Zebra Man as the villain who, yes, is a real villain. He's most known for his appearance in the Lego Batman movie. Zebra Man creates a machine that turns Batman into Zebra Batman. Yes, that is the actual name. He has some weird gravity powers that he cannot control. Luckily, with the help of Robin, Batman manages to beat the Zebra and also beat Zebra Man. Also, it's described here that this whole zebra stuff is like a sickness, but it's really odd because it's not like, I'm not entirely sure how that works because Batman just gets really, gets powers. I'm not entirely sure what Zero Man's whole plot here was because if Batman was to simply just get control of his powers, wouldn't that actually be bad for Zebra Man? Anyways, yeah, that's the plot. If you're confused uh, why this plot is very, very, very dull and just come across as small is because there are plenty of stories, including other Batman ones and a Martian Manhunter one in this very comic, which actually take up most of the comic. The Zebra Batman, despite being on the cover, actually only takes up a very small portion of the issue. This also is the only appearance of Zebra Man in the comics. So despite of him being known as a very iconic Batman type costume he actually isn't really really anything the iconicness of the character comes down from the cover the story itself is actually just really filler overall kind of a dull story but in my opinion a pretty cool costume well this might be the end of zebra batman and the comics due to the popularity he would have from the comic book cover he would actually make it into funko pops coming in packs with bullseye batman for some reason bullseye batman and zebra batman have actually nothing to do with one another also, Batman comes from the Rainbow Batman storyline, where that is one of the costumes he dresses up as in order to distract villains from seeing Robin's broken arm. So I'm not entirely sure why Super Batman and Bullseye Batman are paired together. Perhaps it's just because they're both black and white? Super Batman would as well appear in the Batman DLC, the Lego Batman game, along with other Batman suits, including Azrael Batman, 1940s Batman, and Batman Zero Noir. It's also a possible reference to Super Batman's powers from the comics, so that is, he has a force field. Although, I don't know if that's really the same as him having gravity abilities. Overall, I think he's pretty interesting, but in the actual game itself, all he does really is look different than the actual Batman. As well, Batman Zero and R, Batman Beyond, Azrael Batman have different abilities than regular Batman. Zebra Batman only has a force field, which you can only find when you throw a Batarang at him. Other than that, the character is practically just Batman, but a zebra. Which, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. He is Zebra Batman. But other Batman, like Azrael Batman, has, like, fire powers. Which also gives him an edge on why he's, you know, different than the actual Batman. But Zebra Batman, in the DLC, and playable character, the character overall is just not really anything. He's just a Batman that looks like a zebra. And that's it for Zebra Batman. Personally, well, the story he comes from is really, really boring. His design is weirdly stunning in a way that I actually kind of like it. And not that I wish he came from an actual fun story. If Super Batman were to return perhaps an Elseworlds story, or other media, then honestly, I'd be up for it. Although, it is very confusing why Super Batman has superpowers, due to the fact that Zero Man is the one who gave it to him. And Zero Man is trying to kill Batman. But giving him superpowers kind of contradicts that. In fact, it gives Batman an edge to fighting Zebra Man, who actually has powers as well. Either way... I actually really like the costume, even if it is pretty silly. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!